If you built an airplane to fly as slow as possible, it might look like this. This is the Bloop 2, a home-built ultralight airplane. The Bloop is a motor floater, a simple light airplane with a small motor and no doors. The pilot is completely out in the open air, flying slow. The level speed of the Bloop is 24 miles per hour, really slow for an airplane. To make the controls simple, there are no ailerons. The plane is turned using only the rudder, which is controlled by the foot pedals. The center stick controls the elevator, setting the nose angle and airspeed. A basic formula for flight is keep the nose near level, steer with your feet, and use the throttle to go up and down. Flying with this two-axis control system is ordinary in most ways. I find myself doing almost the same maneuvers and setups as with the more conventional three-axis system. I can fly with the control stick full back. The light wing loading of the bloop allows a kind of wallowing flight with the nose wandering up and down, but there is no sudden stall or immediate hazard. Slow flying provides time to look around, think, and react to whatever comes along. There's time to plan ahead, observe conditions, change your mind, or to correct a mistake. You don't need a radio headset to fly a motor floater, but you will want ear protection because the motor is loud. The bloop does not gain much speed in a dive, so I sometimes come down to a landing just by aiming the nose at the near end of the runway. I like the unpaved runways. They're soft and stable for ground rolling. Touch and go, up and away. At the start of the day, I move the plane out to the flight line. There's not much need to taxi a plane that weighs less than 200 pounds so I just pick up the tail and quietly roll it out. To run the engine, you flip a switch and pull the rope. The Bloop uses a modern paramotor engine and propeller, providing 25 horsepower. In the fuel tank, I have two and a half gallons of aviation gasoline mixed with oil, good for about two hours of flying. The full thrust of the paramotor engine is greater than my body weight, so I can only cycle it up to about half power during the warm-up or it would push me over. While the engine warms up, the pilot can review the weather and flight conditions. Notice that the flag in the background is standing out, so there will be a good headwind for takeoff. Cycle the controls one last time, then go to full throttle. You don't need a big engine to pull up off the ground. A light airframe and a high lift wing will do the job. In the United States, no license is required to fly an ultralight, and there is no direct oversight of the design or construction of the aircraft. Coming down to a landing, I'm looking for air and ground traffic, as well as lining up on the runway. In a crosswind, I would still fly over the runway, but my nose would be pointed into the wind and that is how I would land as slow as possible with a little bit of sideways skidding on the ground. Down I come drifting around a little and down to the runway. Let's get at least one wheel on the runway then use the ground brake. Nose down is the normal landing attitude for the bloop so that in a strong wind, the pilot can stabilize the plane and get out safely. I went flying and I feel good.